Hello everyone, here is Wise Dave, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay, so the video today is a bit uh, late, uh, and I'll explain why. So I decided to do a different video. Because um, yesterday I've been into a viewing party, uh, Baby Metal, the other one viewing party. Uh, so Rough Trade uh, managed to arrange with the, the band. Uh, and uh, they gave the opportunity to some fans to actually listen to the to the album before its release date that will be tomorrow. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Rough Trade is a is is a branch of stores that they they sell plenty of uh, discos and everything. They are based into music. And it's the first time I actually gone there, and it it was impressive actually the 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 quantity of of discos vinyls that they had in there was quite impressive. Uh, so on arrival, they gave us this card, and in the back of the card there's a QR code. Uh, that QR code, when we scanned it, took us to a page. In that page, there was a a message from like a, a small video with a message from both Sue and Moa uh, thanking us for their uh, to to listening to the album beforehand before the release. Um, there was as well the options to like the, like the the links to 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 buy the album, of course, and uh, there was a um, a link that took us to Spotify. And in that, it took us to a list in Spotify. And in that list, there were, it, it was actually a list of songs made by both Sue and Moa uh, of some of their favorite musics. So that that was that 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 was amazing to see what they what kind of songs they like and all of that. That was uh, it's it it's it's good. It's a good experience to know what our what our favorite band. Uh, likes to listen to, isn't it? Straight after that, they took us to this area where the the, the viewing would uh, would uh, would happen. So it was kind of a sitting area in the in the end of the in the end of the shop. Uh, as you guys can see, there's some on the right side. There's some discos and everything, uh, and. Uh, here was where everything was going to happen. So there was about I don't even I don't even think we were one hundred. They said they had capacity for three hundred, but I was not seeing three hundred fitting in there. At least not seated. Um, so as I was one of like the one of the ten first on the line, so they they actually they actually had a seating space. But some people were the people that got late. They they were standing behind. Uh, so as you guys can see in the picture, there was a so that was another message from the girls. There was a video when that when the the viewing party started, them actually being very thankful for us to 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 want to listen to their album beforehand. It shows that we are anxious to that we we really want to listen what they do and just being very thankful uh, for us. So now about the album. So uh, so the album consists in ten songs. Uh, of course, the concept album, but I mean they are a concept band in the end. Uh, so uh, first first one was Metal Kingdom. Of course, everyone knows Metal Kingdom was one of the first songs that we already that we already knew. Uh, so it's kind of slow paced. A bit heavier than the usual, uh, uh, than the usual baby metal, and uh, with beautiful vocals on both Sue and Moa. The second song, uh, "Divine Attack," Shingeki, uh, more fast-paced, more energetic, more, uh, but still, still heavy and still different from what we've seen before from them. Uh, mirror, mirror. Because actually, the the clip will, the video clip will come out tomorrow. It was kind of heavy on drums. Uh, beautiful singing from both uh, Sue and Moore as well. Uh, but extremely heavy on the drums. Maya, oh Maya. Okay, Maya. 
is now my second favorite song of this album after listening. It was impressively heavy. Singing was beautiful, but it was heavy in the bass. There, it was uh, amazing on bass. I can I can tell you guys this. The Kami band have a massive, a massive role in this album. They 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 are playing really 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 heavy. But the girls they don't stay behind. Their singing evolved as well. On of what I could hear, her singing evolved uh, as well a lot. And Maya is one is one of the songs that I can see that it's it's an impressive song. Uh, I would advise you guys when you guys get the album or when the album comes on Spotify or whatsoever, just go straight away to Maya. Go straight away to Maya. This song is beautiful. Uh, time wave, um, not as much impressive, but still uh, very heavy. A bit more pop singing, J-pop singing. Um, is is one? Of, it was those two songs that I, I I didn't I didn't manage to get a very good opinion of it, a very conclusive opinion on it. It was time wave was one of them. I actually need to listen it again to to make a, a conclusive opinion of it. Believing, this one, I mean, is the third is the, is my third favorite. This one is my third favorite. Believing, uh, it sounded like it was completely sang in English. What is impressive, because they, uh, I mean, Sue Sue still talks English and everything, but Moa, she never, we never seen Moa talk too much English or, or when she's she sings English is like a, a sentence or something like that but she was she sang a lot in this in this in this in this song what was and it was heavy as well the whole album is is extremely heavy from the part of the Kami band they 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 are just getting they are just doing an, an impressive job in here uh metalism metalism was unexpected. I was when I've when I've seen the the title metalism. I was expecting this to be an extremely metal song. Like, but now it's the beginning was weird with Arabic Arabic music playing. Uh, it's different. It's extremely different. I liked it. I I liked it. Not not one of my favorites, but yeah. It will, it will, it's, it's different, it's, it's, it's impressive. Okay, the eighth song was Monochrome. I mean, I think everyone already knows Monochrome. That is, that is my favorite song on this album. End of story. Expressive, heavy, beautiful. Light and Darkness is more like, um, it was the song number nine. It was more uh, like a pop more pop than actually metal, to be fair, but still beautiful. The legend, um, the legend was very expressive. It's the other song that I, I need to, I need to listen again to make a proper conclusion. Um, yeah, it was it was heavy but expressive. The singing was very expressive. Uh, so when 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 they come out when the album comes out tomorrow I think if there is in Spotify tomorrow I probably will do a a review of the album I will give my opinion to the album um, because it's difficult when you just have like one listening of the all the songs um, and. I mean, those two, the Time Wave and the Legend, they were a bit. I don't know. They, I couldn't take. I couldn't take a conclusion of the song. I could not. Uh, I, I could not get an, a full opinion on it. Um, so, in conclusion, it's it's a complete different baby metal that we are that we that we got used that you guys got used. I only knew about them six months ago. So. Uh, six or seven months ago. So, uh, it's a complete different. It's a complete different baby metal. It's a complete new era of baby metal, but still an impressive, and expressive baby metal. 
Um, I hope you guys uh, get your albums or manage to listen to it uh, tomorrow. And uh, I may publish a video. The video may not be tomorrow. It probably will be on on Saturday. Uh, about the about the album. Uh, a, a, f a full review of the album. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.